guys, surprise, surprise, I have an extra new release for you guys this week. I am super, super excited to be able to offer these items to you guys up in the shop. They've been in very high demand. I've been working really hard this weekend to get them all done and they are here. I am so excited. So I wanted to have these items available to you guys before the end of the year. Technically I made that deadline, but the end of the year is tomorrow. Nonetheless, I pulled it off. So yay. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get right into it. It is Sunday morning. Um, my family and I were going to head to church in like an hour and a half or so. So I want to get this video filmed and edited and uploaded for you guys a ASAP. So, all right, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I have two new one month planners to share with you guys. I also have weekly and daily planner inserts an updated version that can be used in our one month planners in the DIY one month planner. Also in the prosper planner, if you want to switch up your layout there, I'm going to show you examples of how that all works. And then I also have some new planner pieces for annual and monthly goal setting. So lots to cover today. I am going to try to be as concise as possible and make this video as short as possible for you guys. But I also do want to show you some, show you some examples. So first let's dive in to the DIY planners. Now the previous version of this planner is still available in the shop. It can be found in the OG one month planner section. The um, previous version of the inserts are also available there. They're going to be different sizes. The sizes of everything was just kind of different. The proportions and stuff were different last year. So um, I put everything in one place to hopefully make it easier to find. So um, the DIY planners are pretty straightforward. Now with all of our planners, let me go back to the monthly view. With all of our planners, you're going to get a five week and a six week version. You're going to get all the various starts in terms of like Monday start month with a Monday start week, Sunday start month with a Monday start week and a Sunday start month with a Sunday start week. So you're going to get all of that. The linking varies with the DIY on that. So um, just kind of pick and choose which one works best for you. And then you also do receive both the landscape version and the portrait version. The DIY could not be more simple. So here's the monthly view. Looks the same as all the monthly views. The weekly page is blank, okay? So that's totally blank. It'll tell you which week you're in up here. So this is week one and then week five. If you tap anywhere up here, it's gonna take you back to the monthly view up here. Now, the only way to get to the daily pages is through the monthly view, and that's because this is undated. I couldn't put like 35 to 42 daily links somewhere on the page. I felt like it would just get in the way, um, and yeah, it just wouldn't look that great, <laughs> honestly. So to get to the daily pages, you're gonna to want to tap um, on the upper right hand corner of each box for the day. So if I tap on week two Friday It is going to take me to Friday for week two and I'll tell you up here Which day you are on and I tried to put that as out of the way as possible But I did want to label it for you guys so that you knew where you were at and This if you tap up here on a daily page, it's going to take you back to the month but if you tap on this little part right here, it's going to take you back to that weekly page. So you still can get back to the week very easily. Obviously, you can always use the buttons over here too. So again, to get to the daily pages, you're going to want to tap in the upper right hand corner on the monthly view. To get to the weeks, you can either tap over here or you can use these buttons over here. Anytime you tap on the top of a page, it's going to take you back to the first monthly view and you can get to any of your calendars here. You still get your five dividers where you can insert uh, planner pieces, you can insert add-ons, you can um, you know put whatever you want, other planners from other shops, however you want to piece it all together. But the dividers are here so you can kind of plug whatever you want into this. And you can insert our one month planners into the hub system itself or you can insert or you can use them as standalone items. And yeah, I knew my camera was going to blur out if it hasn't <laughs> already done that. So um, it doesn't like the whole white screen. But so that's the DIY. Now to use this, you can use stickers if you want to just like place a bunch of stickers on um, 
on the page. You can create your own layout. So the DIY is really perfect for really creative people. You get full control over your layouts. But I did create these weekly and daily DIY inserts to make it super easy for you. And they come both cropped and full page. And there is a reason for that. If you want to use the full page inserts, if you want to cover a page in a one month planner that's not the DIY, you'd want to use the full page inserts. These are all going to come with a white background, so they're really easy to just layer on top of an existing page, and I will show you that. You're going to get the hybrid layouts, which I'll show you the hybrid planner in just a minute, but um, if you purchase, by the way, the weekly and daily planner pieces, that the hybrid version of those pieces were automatically added to the Dropbox. You don't have to purchase them separately. I plugged them in there for you guys. So if you go to the Dropbox where you originally downloaded the weekly and daily planner pieces, you're going to find the hybrid there. So um, how this works, now if you use a cropped insert i'm gonna there's landscape and portrait honestly you can use them however you want the configuration like the proportions just a little different these came from the landscape planners these came from the portrait planners but you can use them however you wish um, for the cropped inserts now for the landscape let's say i want to put well, this is a daily view. So let's go our daily layouts. You're gonna get all the daily layouts and Monday start, Sunday start. You're gonna get them with morning, afternoon, evening, as well as the time blocking. So you're gonna get all the options. Um, technically, there are 10 daily layouts if you include the hybrid, which the hybrid is technically like weekly and daily. So, <laughs> cause it's combined and I'll share that again with you in a moment. But um, so here is like the blank space and it's cropped, so that means that you can put it wherever you would like. You could put it over here if you want. You could put it over here and cover up that day if you prefer to do that. You can resize these really easily. You can make it really small. You could crop out things if you want. These are JPEG images, so I could go to crop. I could go here, and if I just want that morning, afternoon, and evening, I could just throw this over here if I want. These are so versatile, you guys. They're so easy to use. Um, and again, they have that white background. I did that intentionally just to make it really easy to cover things up. I didn't want you to have to put like a white background down first and then a transparent background. Or I mean, yeah, and then the transparent um, PNG and stuff. So that's how that will work. And then just to show you another example, here is like the functional. And this is more of a full page one and they're proportioned. So the landscape is um, like perfect for this. So you can easily cover this up if you want. And look, it looks just like the planner. Now, the one thing I will say you guys, and I have tried everything under the sun to avoid this. It's just the nature of having a image versus a PDF document. When you zoom all the way in on a PDF document, you're gonna see zero pixelation. If you zoom all the way in on an insert, you are going to see pixelation. But that's if you're zooming all the way in. Um, and if you zoom out, you can't even tell, honestly. It looks like just a re regular page of the planner. So just be aware of that. There is pixelation with the images I've tried several different ways to avoid it and it doesn't seem possible. I've done lots and lots of research but um, the only time you're going to get those like crisp like non-pixelated images is when you're using a, P a actual PDF. Um, this is the best I could get it. I tried lots and lots of things so again that's only if you're zooming like all the way in and for like the lines and stuff you really can't tell but when you go up here to like the little icons, you can definitely tell it's pixelated. So just wanted to mention that real quick so that's not like a surprise or anything. And you guys may be used to that because it's just kind of the nature of inserts again. So again, the DIY planner is just totally blank pages for all your days and your weeks and everything. These are sold separately. The inserts are sold separately from the DIY one month planner. They're separate listings because these can be used in any planner. They don't have to be used in the DIY. You can use them in various planners. For example, let's go back to the insert examples and open up a one month planner. So this is my 
uh, version one functional planner. And let's say I've got this in there and I kind of want to cover up this page. I want to do something different for my weekly layout. I could go, this is landscape, so I could go to my landscape inserts. And then I could do, um, let's go to the full page. So this is the difference between the cropped and the full page. If you go to the cropped, it's going to not cover the whole page. See that? So that's why I wanted to offer them as both. I feel like they're easier to use in the DIY when they're cropped because, you know, it's not taking up the whole page. It's a little easier to navigate. But when you're covering up a full page in your one-month planner, I wanted you to have the full page option so that it's a lot easier to cover up. So let's go to landscape and we'll go to weekly inserts. And let's say I want to use the memory keeping. I want to do memory keeping and again they come in Monday and Sunday start. So I would just size that over and they're going to fit perfect because they're made for it. <laughs> And voila, there you go. Now with the pixelation, this one, you can barely tell. If you zoom all the way on the day, you can tell. But So now you've got a memory keeping sheet. So this way, in your one month planner, you can easily uh, cover up pages if you would like to. Um, and again, the cropped ones are a little easier to use for like the DIY, because um, yeah, it's just easier to navigate and all of that kind of stuff. So, and then let's do a daily as well. So let's say I'm like in my days over here and I kind of want to switch it up. I want to do a blank space. I can just simply pull this over and within seconds I'll have this size where I need it to be. Oops, it decided to jump on me. Oh, and it, oh no, it didn't remove it. There it is. So I can just uh, size it, put it where I need it to be and voila, now I have this nice different you know, thing. So the thing to keep in mind too, this is an image. So if you're putting stickers on top of it, it's going to pick up if you have your lasso tool on and you have a sticker. Let me just put in a picture. Um, <laughs> let's do Julia. <laughs> this is at Desert Farms. So say I've got my like image here, I'm putting pictures on this layout. If I have my lasso tool and I have images on and I go to move this, it's going to move everything. See that? So to avoid that, you would want to use your photo tool because with your photo tool, you can just tap and move it around. Now with the lasso, you can tap as well. I actually have that feature turned off because it was irritating me. But um, if you use the photo tool, you can just tap on it and it's not going to pick it up. It's going to just pick up the individual items. So just a little FYI there. Um, that's the best way to avoid picking up everything. If you have images turned on all the way, it's going to pick this up. If you're not moving another like sticker and it's text that you're moving, you can turn images off here and then move the text around. See, it's not picking up the images. So you could move text around that way and everything. But um, so just a little FYI because you're working with images and stuff like that. So that's the daily. And then I wanted to show you another example of using this in the Prosper Planner. So if you want to use the Prosper Planner, if you're using the Prosper Planner and you want to switch up the, um, the layout. So I'm in my weekly page here for January. Let's say I want to switch things up and I'm going to use the box layout. And is this the full page? Yeah, the full page is going to be your best bet. Um, you're going to have to tweak it just a little tiny bit because the proportions are a little different due to the addition of these buttons over here on the left. So if I go into my landscape inserts and I go to weekly inserts and I want to use the box layout here, you'll see I can kind of move this. Um, you're going to want to pay attention to the sides. And you're going to see it does have a little bit up here and a little bit down here. So to, to fix that, all you have to do is just ever so slightly go up, like do the little up button here, and then you're good. It's gonna cover everything up. So now that's all gone, see? So really, really easy. Um, let's do an example in the portrait. So I'm gonna go to my portrait, and I was kind of tweaking, or I was like playing around with it <laughs> last night. Well, so the insert's already there. So let's say, I want to change, let's turn images on. 
I want to change my weekly layout to memory keeping for this week. So again, you're gonna be able to get that as close as you can to those sidebars with buttons, and then you're going to have to sort of um, pull it over that, or you can put a white background down first. So I could do this too, I could take my lasso, take a screenshot, this is a little bit more work, but if you um, really want to, let's just copy that. Um, if you really want it to be like perfect, you would take a screenshot first, cover it up completely, just like that. And then I would take over my portrait, full page insert. I, again, I think full, full page is easier to work with, but if you cover it up with a white space first, you could use the cropped ones if you want to. So I'll show you what this looks like. So we'll go into our weekly inserts. Let's do the classic. And then I can just pull that in like that. And then you can, if you want, you can move this over. Just know it's going to, it's not gonna really distort the lines very much, but it will kind of distort, and you can hardly even tell, honestly, the um, text. It's just gonna kind of like lengthen it out, you know? But you don't have to do it a ton, so it really doesn't like look bad or anything like that. So, see that? So that's how you would use that in the Prosper Planner. And if you wanted to do the cropped, it's even easier to work with um, when you put this white background down, I think, because it doesn't really matter where you put it. Um, let's go to the weeklies and do that same classic so you guys can see the difference. So I'll pull over the classic here and then I can just kind of make that as big as I want, you know? just like that. So I think when you cover it up with a white background, the cropped is easier. Um, but it's just, you know, whatever whatever works best for you. Um, you'll find your own groove of doing it. But now you do have that option though to switch out your weekly layout in the Prosper Planner if you want to. Um, it, you would just need to get the inserts to be able to do that. So those are just some examples of how to change things up and stuff. And again, you get um, a whole bunch of stuff with these inserts, lots and lots of inserts. You get the cropped ones, the full page ones, you get the hybrid. Um, you're gonna get landscape and portrait for everything, landscape and portrait landscape and portrait. In the Dropbox, they come with a zip file and an open file. The zip files, if you wanna download everything all at once, the open files, if you just wanna kinda of go in and pick and choose and download whatever you need. So, um, so that is that. That is the inserts, the DIY planner, and everything like that. So that's how all that works. And you can save those inserts, by the way, as elements. And if you're using GoodNotes, you can save it. Um, and other apps as well, I think Zoom Notes, um, <clears throat> I know Nicole in our group, she uses Zoom Notes and I don't remember what they were called, but you can save, it's like a similar thing to elements that you can save, but I don't remember what they're called. So Nicole, if you're watching this, maybe you can let us know <laughs> in the comments, but I know other apps, they're able to do that too, where you can save things sort of as element, elements that you can reuse over and over again so you could do that with the inserts if you want to as well if you kind of like Franken plan and piece different inserts together to create like the perfect layout for you you don't have to redo it every time you can just lasso all of it save it as an element and then you are good to go or you could even like you know export that page as an image crop it down and then have it as your own makeshift you know um, insert if you want to do that too so all right that's that, let's get into the hybrid. So here is the hybrid. I am thrilled, you guys. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled with how the hybrid turned out. I am so excited. I actually wanna use this layout like ASAP. I loved, loved, loved the hybrid, the previous year's version when it first came out. It basically combines your weekly with your daily. So you've got a weekly overview and your daily all on one page and it's awesome. So let me share with you the landscape version and you do get a morning afternoon evening and a time blocking version in one purchase you also get landscape and portrait all the different starts um a five week month six week month you get 
you get it all. You get 24 <laughs> planners all together. This is why this took a lot of work this weekend, but um, the long hours were worth it, you guys. I really wanted to have this available, and I'm just excited that it is. So going to our monthly view first, let's go ahead and turn the pen tool off, go to the monthly view, and um, monthly view is the same across the board. If I tap on week one, it's going to go to the first day of that week. So this is a Monday start um, and Sunday start. So it's not going to go to this first Sunday here. It's going to go to the first Monday because Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday. So if I tap on week one, it's going to go to this Monday. Tap on week two, it's going to go to this Monday and so on and so forth. You can also use these buttons over here, the weekly buttons over here if you would like. So. I'll go to week one for this one and it'll tell you this is Monday week one so it'll tell you here this gray space is here as a placeholder to put your dated mini calendar that you can access through the vault the P2P vault which you get access to through this download button down here and but it's there so you know which page you're on so you would cover it up you would cover this up eventually with the mini calendar and kind of mark it that way but then you know okay I'm on Monday for week one and here you get your weekly open overview Monday through Sunday and then you've got your weather up here and your so you can put in the date mark the weather the high the low this is what I mean so a PDF if I zoom all the way in there's no pixelation at all there it's completely crystal clear so that's what I was talking about between like the inserts and the P PDFs but um, okay so you get date weather high low your top three up here you get a couple sticky notes you get this grid over here where you could put widgets or pictures whatever you want to do you get two checklists and your morning after afternoon, evening, and then let me show you what the time blocking looks like. If you tap on a day too, it's going to take you to that daily page as well. So on the monthly view, you can tap on the week to get to the start of the week, and then you can tap on a specific day to get to that day. So that's how that works. Um, so this is the time blocking one. It just replaces that morning, afternoon, evening with an hourly over here. And it's broken down by half hour all the way down. So you can do that if you would like to. These days over here are hyperlinked. So if I tap on Thursday, it's going to take me to Thursday for that week. If I tap on this gray box, it's always going to take me back to my monthly view. And then whatever page I'm on, if I tap on the top here, it's going to take me to that first page of the monthly view. And that's to make navigation really easy if you insert this into your hub system or behind a divider in any of our you know systems with dividers then you can get back to your main planner very easily by coming back to this first page and then just swipe over it takes two seconds very easy to do so again the upper right hand corner of these boxes there's invisible links that will take you to each daily page but this is what the hybrid looks like and again I love it so you can put all your events over here to make it really really easy and you can just copy um, whatever you put in this weekly view, you can copy it from day to day and everything. That's kind of how it works is you would copy it from day to day. And then this is what the portrait version looks like. So your similar monthly view, this is the six week portrait version. If I tap on week one here, it's going to take me to week one and you've got your weekly overview along the side here. You've got some grid. You've got the morning, afternoon, and evening. You, I only had space for one checklist because I still wanted to have some grid space in case you wanted to put pictures or widgets. So there's just one checklist. You still have your top three. You have a sticky note, your weather, and a spot to put in the date and everything like that. So that is the morning, afternoon, evening version. And then you also do receive the um, time blocking as well. So that is the new hybrid. It combines your daily with your weekly. And again, you would just set up your week and then you would copy and paste. You would lasso everything and copy and paste it from week to week and um, or from day to day rather to be able to reference in, on one page what is going on that week. And then that kind of helps you plan what you want to do for the day and stuff. You can put in your time blocking. You can put over here like, oh, okay, I have an appointment today. And it'll tell you you're on Saturday week two. So you would just look at Saturday here. What do I have going on? You know, so it all jives together. I am, again, just thrilled with how this turned out. So these 
layouts, the hybrid layout is available automatically if you purchase the weekly or the daily or both of the planner pieces, you're gonna see a file for that now in the Dropbox. So you can go and download those if you would like to. And then we have the one month version and then this also was created into an insert. So if you purchase the inserts, you'll get this layout as well. Um, and all the various, you know, um, um, what am I trying to say, the various, types, <laughs> various types, I don't know, with the Monday start, Sunday start, the time blocking, portrait, landscape, uh, morning, afternoon, evening, all of that. So you're going to receive all of that. So you can pick the one that works best for you. So that is that one. And then, so that's the hybrid that's available now too. All of this can be found in the new releases section of the shop. Then the last thing I have to share, so these are the planner pieces for um that are available so i wanted to show you an example so this is just a full page you guys holy full page hybrid this is what you can find in the dropbox for the weekly and the daily planner pieces so that's all of that and then we get into the goal setting so here's annual goals and let me so these are the portrait i'll flip through them real quick so you can kind of see what they look like in the portrait I'll actually probably use this in the portrait. I wanted um, today to actually sit down and I want to be more serious about goal setting and stuff um, and like tracking things and, you know, not just like thinking of ideas, but really writing it out and planning it out. So um, that's what I'm going to do. But these are the different ones that you get for portrait. Um, you do get a January to December and a July to June version of the monthly pages. So let me show you the landscape. It's just a little easier to see. Um, so let's go back to annual goals. So these are exactly the same as the templates available in the hub and in the Prosper Planner. So this is just specifically if you want to use the planner pieces system. There's no hyperlinking on it. There's no buttons whatsoever. It's a, a bigger page because I was able to, obviously without the like sidebar of buttons, you're able to make it larger and stuff, but it's otherwise it's totally the same. Um, other than I did for the planner pieces, since you're not like inserting it into a specific month, I wanted you to be able to mark the month that you're in. Um, so there's that too. So you can mark like, you know, you can just use your highlighter here and um, we're in December <laughs> still, but yeah, um, it, I swear, I <laughs> lack of sleep does things to your brain and it's like that whole, everyone's been talking about like going into like the black hole after Christmas of like, what day is it? What time is it before New Year's? And I'm definitely experiencing that. Um, so, but anyways, you can highlight which month that you're in that way and just kind of keep track. But you've got a little section here where you can put, and the annual is exactly the same, except you're, you're not going to have this top section here where it says, like, it'll say annual goals instead. Um, and then it, for how you're doing, there's different areas of career and business, finances, fun and hobbies, home, mental, emotional health, physical health, relationships, spirituality. One needs attention. Five is doing great. So you can just use your little highlighter here. And I'm doing this haphazardly. Um, this is not how I actually feel. <laughs> but, like, um, so... Yeah, you would just kind of highlight how you're doing. You could also do it this way. You could highlight like, you know, going in little bars across the side if you wanted to do, you know, something like that. Um, that's another way that you could mark all of those. So, um, so that's that section. You've got a nice big note section here. I wanted to provide a really big note section um, just to take lots of notes because I feel like that's something that is probably needed. And then you've got these just big boxes here where you can put in, you know, pictures. If you want inspiration, you could write out what your goals are, whatever you want to do in those boxes. are just kind of, they're labeled so you know which is which. Um, but other than that, you know, it's kind of a creative, like, nice big space. So again, the annual goals looks exactly the same. It's just going to say annual goals up here. Some people just do annual and then other people do monthly and then some people do both. So I wanted to provide both. Um, okay. And then for the review, you're going to have that same section up here so that you can mark like where you're at at the beginning of the month and then compare it to how you're feeling, how you're doing in each of these areas at the end of the month. Nice big spot for notes. And then up here, there's a spot where you can put your wins, your challenges, what worked well, what can be improved, and then your favorite memories for the month too. Um, there's a section down there for that. 
So, and again, the annual re review is exactly the same. So there's that. And then you also receive this goal setting. So if you want to break down your goals that you set here and kind of plan each one individually, you've got a step-by-step -step system to do so. You can put in what your goal is, what your why is, your goal date, um, a nice big space for notes, and then step one, step two, step three, and then your action steps for it. So just very simple, straightforward um, goal setting. So this will be available as the annual and monthly goal setting um, planner pieces that you can use. So you're gonna receive all five of these sheets and then you'll get the different variations of the months between like January to December and July to December, or July to June rather. So. Um, so that's available today too. So there's four new listings in the shop. Um, there is your, you know, different one month planners, the inserts, and then the new planner pieces. So that's everything I have for you guys today. Bonus new release. Um, it is New Year's Eve. So here in the States and in, um, and I don't know in other parts of the world, I'm really bad with like time zones and stuff. You guys like in Arizona, we don't even observe daylight savings time, so I couldn't even tell you. Like, I just know what time it is in Arizona most of the time, and that's about it. <laughs> so, but here in Arizona, in the United States, it is New Year's Eve. Um, we are heading into 2024 as of tomorrow, so if you have already celebrated New Year's, I hope that you had a fantastic New Year. Um, and then if you are going to celebrate New Year's, I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating with family and friends and loved ones and um, that you have a safe New Year's. And I hope that we all have a prosperous, wonderful 2024. I know it's been rough. There's been so much chaos going on in the world and um, it's felt very heavy. I don't know if you guys feel that too, but there's just so much going on and we get in, we have information overload these days. We get information pouring in from social media and various news outlets and all this kind of stuff. And I don't feel like human beings were meant to take on that amount of information and know about all of that stuff going on everywhere all the time. We just have easier access to information. So be in the moment, put your phone down, you know, celebrate with family and friends, you know, be, be present. And, um, and then hopefully we will just all, I pray we all have a wonderful 2024 and, um, I just wish you all the best. Happy new year. I hope you're excited about these new products. I'm super excited. I'm glad I was able to get this done for you. Now I'm going to go off and edit this video, get it up ASAP for you guys. Um, but yeah, happy 2024, happy new year. And I will chat with y'all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.